Hi, Collective. We're going to be getting some messages. I hope everybody's great. Oh. Let me get situated. <laughs> okay. So we're going to get some messages. We have Dolby with us. Dolby decided to join in on the video. Um, we have some new decks, guys. So... We definitely we have a masculine feminine deck we have a, another love deck we have the wicked cool um pot leaf the oracle deck the cannabis um we have the who so um traits personality or physical traits we have another spell oracle with spells um we have the Rosabella or Rosabella. We have a skull and a Akashic um, Oracle and we have a crystal Oracle. So we can work with um, that. This is called the yeah, Rosabella Oracle, really good Oracle. All right, so we're gonna get started guys. I hope everybody's great. I have not had any time to even do what I wanna do let alone record, um, meaning working with um, different, doing more magic and things of that nature. I haven't even had time to record, let alone do that. So um, I did put the Kitsune oil up on my Etsy page. Um, my Etsy name you can check out is the or page is the same name as on here. Let's see what I have to offer. I believe I have 15 oils on there and their uses, what they're for. All right, so we have the month November. We have Tulip, Great Passion. We have Bo, You Are Highly Thought Of. And we have Elephant, a, a Long Journey. Either physical, mental, physical or mental will leave you wiser at the end. We have Cracked Cup, Dissatisfaction with Life. We have the month of March, and we have door opportunities are waiting for you. We have happiness. We have whale, great worry over nothing. And we have horseshoe, good luck. Very nice. Sunrise, new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. And we have handshake, so a meeting with a stranger could be important. Victory in some endeavor. Okay, what's coming in, please, for my collectives at this time? Do they need to know and be aware of for the highest good? All right, chair filled. Someone new is entering their life. Okay, they just want to fall out of my hands. We have dagger. Fear, worries situations with coins money will be coming to you and we have broken ring parting of the ways in either romance or business and we have the month september maybe significant or virgo we have staff you will be taking care of in difficult times hills obstacles to overcome v victory in some endeavor that card came out we have the month of august we have grapes time to go out and have fun with throne Position of authority. We have gavel, involvement with the law, horse, short journey, and angel, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. Okay, we have target, a goal-oriented person, well, family wishes come true. Camel, persevere and you will overcome problems. We have success at the bottom. Barrel, you feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. We have hand in need of help, assistance, and guidance, and flute, disappointment, and a friend or lover. So that's what we have out of there. Very nice. A lot of good cards came out. All right. Um, let's get the overall energy surrounding the reed. Hi, baby. I am um, offering personal readings, if you'd like a personal reading, and pendulum 
one question is five dollars three questions is 15 and anything up to six questions is 25. so we have moon cancer energy pisces emotions with high priestess uh female knower and wisdom gemini virgo energy and we have archangel joe fail coming out yellow ray ask him to help you absorb information when studying and when you need wisdom we also have Judgment and the Hermit, also Scorpio, Virgo energy. I feel like um, you're trying to manifest something or you, you're you looking at um, your emotions, your feelings about a situation um, and you're, you're facing it like truthfully. You're going to, you know evoke what it is that you truly desire what you want um you know you're gonna get clarity on that situation and you're gonna you're going to accept that that that's your truth and that's what um your heart and soul is longing for you to do yeah all right let's pull on one of these cards this is the uh, spell deck everyday spells so we're gonna get a card for you guys a hundred cards. There's a hundred of these. We have love spells. Okay. Sylvan spell. This is a lovely spell. If you are given a small tree as a gift to wish for strength and good health for you and your love. Before you plant the sapling, tie a bow and some colored ribbon and plant the bow with a small heart symbol in the soil under the roots of the tree. After you have planted the tree, water it well. Make a wish that both you and your love will grow strong and enduring as... The tree takes root and begins to flourish. When the tree bears its first leaf, press it in a book associated with the one you love. As long as you tend your to your tree with love, you will both enjoy blooming health and vitality. Very nice. Okay. We're going to pull um, three of these. We have Elixir of Love. Elixirs are very simple potions made by placing a crystal or gemstone in a glass of water for at least seven hours. Remove the stone and drink the crystallized water. The water will now carry the vibrational energy of the stone, the very essence of the crystal. Place into a glass of water carnelian, garnet, rough ruby, red coral, red jade, jasper, red sardonyx, cuprite, adventuring, red calcite. Mix and match and remember if only you have access to a rough ruby and a tiny chunk of jasper, so be it. That is still a lot of love in a jar. So you don't have to have every single one of those stones, it, whatever you have available to you. Oh, and I did get some new crystals today, guys. Um, I got Balzic, uh, Bell, uh, an Amber. I got an Amber Stone. Um, I got a pink um, Lumerian, beautiful stone. Um, it is for grief and nervous energy and fear. So it helps you get over um, fear, fearing energies. We have a palm root, another good stone for that. Um, this is the amber. And then the other ones are downstairs in my purse. I forgot to bring them up. I got another sodalite too. Sodalites are good stones. I only have one sodalite and it's wrapped in wire. I like to have them loose so I can put them, change them out. Okay. Um, one of them was a black onyx, tumbled. Um, I think one was a ocean jasper. I don't know. I forgot. Okay. We have herbal healing essence for an immune system boost. Crush a mixture of equal parts of rosemary, sandalwood, and the petals of a red car carnation. Place the crushed herbs in a colored glass jar filled with virgin olive oil. After seven days, storage on a windowsill so it to be exposed to both sun and moon. Strain and place the infused oil back into the jar. You now have a hearty supply of homemade healing oil to use in your bathtub or rub on your pulse points, temple, wrists, back of knees, and behind the ears. As soon as you feel run down, one application should make a difference. 
we have Friday night, right? At, <laughs> Friday nights are a good time for getting together with your friends or in a circle with your coven. If possible, pick a place with a fireplace and have a brighty, brightly burning blaze. Ask invitees to bring spring flowers and musical instruments, including plenty of drums. Place pillows on the floor and serve an ambrosial spread of finger food, foods and spirits. Light a wonderfully scented incense and set out candles, one for each participant. When it is time to call the circle, raise your arm and point to each direction, saying to to the east, to the north, and so on. Have each guest light a candle and give a toast. Drumming and dancing come next. This is truly an invocation of the lust for life and will be a night to remember for all. Now rejoice. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Um, I don't know why Spirit's wanting me to go to the stack. This is the Circle of Life Tarot. Six of Pentacles. Okay, so somebody could be not doing so good, and um, especially now that it's getting colder, um, somebody could not be doing so good. They could be needing your human touch, your, you know, physical touch, or just they need, a, you know what I mean, like, um, they need some help, assistance. We have justice, some love into their life. We have the Queen of Wands. Very nice. We have the High Priestess coming out. We have Judgment in Reverse, Scorpio Energy. Yes, I feel like this person is in some way linked or attached to you or reliant on you. Um, you could be a healer. We have the World. We have the moon in reverse, which is funny because we had the moon and the high priestess for the overall energy. Okay, last two cards. We have the emperor and we have the sun. Five of cups in reverse at the bottom. Okay. I feel like there's a big aspect, um, a big part of yourself that feels bare or raw, like incomplete. This You could be the feminine. Either way, flip it, switch the roles, reverse it, how it resonates for your story. Um, injustice is going to come come forth, come front to your life. Let's um, get some characteristics. Let's see what this person could, um, who this co person could be to you in your life. Okay, show me who, this, who is this person that needs my, um, who needs love in their life at this time, who needs, um, who feels incomplete. Okay, we have baby face with average height, Australian, European, and light skin. Long hair at the bottom. We have redhead. We have blonde, we have makeup, we have younger than you, oval face and glasses. Black clothing. We have very young, we have tall. We have medium hair medium length. We have hazel eyes. We have white American. I just heard this person's um, in a somber and depressive state. Very depressed. We have curly hair. And we have medium skin tone. Show me more. What's going on? And we have man. Okay. We have mole at the bottom. So this person may have a mole, a birthmark, a scar, or freckles with brown eyes. A 
tattoo and facial markings. Um, you could be a witch or they could um, be into esoterics or just um, a healer, like I was saying, spirituality. Because when I pulled the high priestess, that is could be a high priest, meaning a masculine or a high priestess, a, a feminine. So either or. Do you want to get down? Because you're starting to make me mad. Like pushing on my arm. I'm trying to do something. Okay. Um, let's clarify. Use the gilded. All right, we're gonna clarify, guys. Let's see what's going on. We have the King of Cups, Queen of Swords at the bottom. Well, you were pushing on my arm with your head, and I don't like that. We have the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. We have the Hierophant, Taurus energy, Libra. We have the Lovers, Gemini energy. Wow, all majors coming out. Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, okay. This person um, also feels a truce with you or they feel very bonded, connected to you. Also, I'm getting telepathically connected as well. We have the High Priestess again coming out. Okay. Four of Wands at the bottom. This is your, this could be your soulmate. Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Knight of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, and the world. You could have walked away from this person in the past because of money difficulties. We have the Nine of Wands and the Four of Pentacles, but you're still um, attached or bonded to this person spiritually and physically, uh, uh, mentally. All right, I want to pull... Um... <laughs> <laughs> my decks that I don't ever use but I'm like for some reason wanting to use them now so that's weird okay we're gonna use the Toth Tarot and the Light Sears I did get another stand guys um this works great Walmart it's for yarn to go on but what you do is you take a cloth and you super glue it to the back of it so when you set the cards on them I split the decks in half sideways and I set them on it they won't fall through so this is the third one I have now for my cards okay all right let's get you guys um let's see what else has come out let's get situated this deck feels a lot thinner than that one. I don't know why. Let's see what the problems are. If, um, if this is your story and you are in separation with this person, we're going to look at what's coming in um, now in the future for you. If there will be a reconciliation. Between the person, you and the person um, that you're connected to. That this resonates for we have the five of pentacles and the page of wands okay it looks like a, a little bit of time well more like a lot of time has passed three of pentacles the magician eight of cups since you guys um, broke it off or broke up with each other stepped away from this connection let me move this So it's almost like, in a sense, neither one of you has healed from this connection, or that's how you feel. That's how you may be feeling, being in the Five of Pentacles energy. Death in reverse. Queen of Cups. Four of Pentacles. Told you. You still have 
a strong um, tie to this person. Two of Pentacles at the bottom. Ten of Cups in reverse. Neither one of, our, one of you are happy emotionally. You feel like um, since this person's not in your life, we have the Emperor, the Hangman, and the Page of Swords. You feel incomplete. Like, um, you ever heard that saying, home is where the heart is, but the home being the person? Ace of Cups. Ten of Swords at the bottom. Yeah, Four of Wands again. Let's clarify. We got the Chariot and the Empress. Okay, show me the Five of Pentacles, please. The Hierophant and Seven of Swords, Futility. I gotta take this off. I'm getting a little warm. Hi, baby. Okay. Yep, we're gonna see. If there's been any, um changes from that from then from the eight of cups when the separation occurred to now if there's been any changes let me clarify that death in reverse So someone refuses to budge even for his or her own good possible loss of a friendship beware of accidents Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Rune, Ten of Swords, Rune, Queen of Wands, and adjustments with five, six, seven, eight. No, I think this is ju this is Justice. The Justice card, I want to say. Libra energy. I don't know why it doesn't say it on the card. Okay. I heard from at the bottom. Okay, so this person may still feel like something is your fault or if they played the blame game in the past, um, they may not be... Hmm, how do I want to say this? The chariot. Okay, this person hasn't grown up or hasn't changed their intentions or motivations and that's why adjustments are required on their half because you're showing up queen of wands you're showing up yourself um this person is still in the ten of swords so if nothing changes nothing changes show me why the page of wands is here seven of wands valor they're still in um defense mode defensive mode or this is you but i don't feel like it is Five of Pentacles with Worry. Show me more. Page of Wands. The Tower. I feel like in order for there to be a reconciliation, this person, if it's truly meant to be, this person is going to go through another Tower moment, but this is going to break everything from the knees down for this person. Meaning, um... Whatever this shit is, this crap is here, um, that's rooted into their beliefs, their ego, their pride, their dynamic, the, even if this person does have narcissistic tendencies, because that's more what it sounds like to me, um, it's going to break them from the knees down, the hips down. So they're going to have no choice but to let everything crumble in order for there to be, you know, light at the end of the tunnel, judgment card and epiphany. We have the Ten of Cups here, Society. And this is only going to be an eye-opener and an aha. It's going to be like a fresh breath of air for this person that basically they were choking on their own. Um, they were choking themselves out of life because they what their life was wasn't working for them anymore. So it's like they're going to kind of be revived um, by source, so to speak. Right, let's see why the three pentacles is here. 
Ace of Wands, Queen of Cups. With the Three of Pentacles, clarifying the Three of Pentacles. Show me more. The Moon and the and Temperance with Art. Okay, this I'm not saying this is, looks very you know promising for some of you, but um, if there if there's a will, there's a way. So if you, if you really want to make it work with this person, I do feel like there's gonna be ha there's gonna have to be an extravagant amount of um, changes. So you might even have to move literally physically move locations um, or like states or however that's going to resonate for you. We have the devil at the bottom. Um, you're going to have to get them kind of out of their element. Why is the eight of cups here? Six of wands with victory. Eight of swords interference death card and the high priestess with two of cups at the bottom love hmm. Hmm. yeah I feel like a lot of it was their fault why they were in that uh, eight of swords energy in their head and ruin they were in their own room because they didn't see another way out but now they they have um they do have a way out it's all a matter of making this person um, see it and believe it or not, you know? More so seeing than believing. All right, why is the death card in reverse here? They have to have this um, spiritual or physical mental death, so to speak, to... Yeah, get out of that interference, which is in their mind right now. This interference is themselves telling them that they, you know, they're holding themselves back, telling themselves that they can't do it or they don't see a way out. So they're closed minded already, you know, if they're closed minded, they're not going to be seeing anything any other way. So we have the two wands here with dominion. We have the four, four of wands, completion, Aries energy. We have the Prince of Cups, the Sun, the Empress, the Prince of Wands, and Disappointment, Five of Cups. With the Emperor at the bottom. Okay, something is painstaking, and I feel like it's this person's inability to... It's like they have this long stand with holding, with holding belief that um, for whatever reason, they're just so ingrained in whatever this belief is that they're kind of souring the good things that are to come in their life. It's almost like this person doesn't believe that they have a heart or emotions or they don't, they believe, you know, they don't believe that um, they're destined for good things or happiness. It's almost like they're, they believe it. That's the energy I'm getting from that. Why is the page of swords here? They're in the double energy. They're very low vibrating. They could be very low vibrating. Seven of pentacles, failure, and the devil. Yeah, right here. We have the devil coming up. With the high priestess again at the bottom. So I, I feel they just haven't tapped into um, their gifts in a good way. Like, they're so plagued by death or negative or this, like I said, the certain mindset, failure. Judgment, the Knight of Cups. Show me one more with that Page of Swords. The Magus, the Magician in Reverse, yeah. 
that they I don't want to say this person has um because the magician in reverse means like doing dark magic or ill intentions so like i said this person could be um a priest a high priest or high priestess take it how it resonates but we have ten of wands at the bottom oppression six of pentacles success they're afraid of success and we have eight of sword swiftness or eight of wands swiftness or they're unsure of their um i just heard cruelty existence so i don't know i'm thinking sexuality because there's a rainbow on that card so maybe even that could be the case for this person maybe they're unsure of their sexuality i that could resonate i don't know all right why is the four of pentacles here we have the priestess the high priestess with the six of sword science they always have to outbid you outdo you they feel like they have to be two steps ahead of you we have the three of swords the wheel of fortune and the prince of swords almost looks like a frog Queen of Cup, or hold on. Okay, I was still on the Four of Pentacles. I just heard leave it alone. So whatever this person, the Three of Swords, this person doesn't want um, it to be known. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Judgment in reverse, Ace of Cups in reverse, Queen of Swords in reverse. Lust in reverse, and power, four of pentacles in reverse. If this person has a baby mom or a baby daddy that they are haven't let go from the past, this bond, that could be the interference right there, or what they're not over. Why is the ten of cups here in reverse? Three of Cups Abundance, Five of Wands Strife, Nine of Wands Strength, Four of Swords Truce, and Page Prince of Wands. They see you a step under them. That's why there's this blockage. They have a, like, um... I don't want to say selfish demeanor, like, they kind of like to take, claim the attention when it's due or where it's given. It's like an art, with this art card. Um, there's a certain skill or method to their craft, I guess you can say. Um, this person could be very smart, book smart or street smart. King of Wands, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. As of right now, yeah, they're not making any legitimate moves towards you. Princess of Discs, which is the Prince of Pentacles. Um, notice the Salamander in her shirt. Salamanders represent protection. It's a fire element, elemental spirit. And he has a line behind him. So you could be very protected in the spiritual realm. And there's um, Ken as the rune on his wand. On his staff. Which is... Yep, Ken as vision, revelation, knowledge, creativity, inspiration, technical ability. So this person could be very skilled. Or this could be you. Or both of you guys. I'm getting now like a narcissist. Um, empath paradigm. So I'm going to pull from my um, time 
I one time in wellness oracle. Yeah, we have the runner at the bottom. With camera reminiscing keepsake. So let's clarify. We have girl talk, time with friends, move on, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. That one was a flipper. It was cassette. Lightning. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. We have acts, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment, with date, meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan or set a date, and we have paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. That's one thing I will say, guys. Don't um, put your life on hold for anybody. I do feel like even if this is your person, or if it isn't, but even if it is, this person isn't in a state of grace to, um, until this lightning moment happens, this tower moment happens for them in their life, they're going to be in this ever, you know, this, um, circle of disappointment and they're just not ready to, you know, they're not ready physically spiritually emotionally they're stuck right now that's what i'm getting they're in a stuck state not like mindset just stuck in a pattern not in a bad way but they're gonna have to want to see the light at the end of the tunnel we have keys on a ring many options decision unconventional string along one night stand so when this person's ready to talk or put the phone down, then they'll come towards you. We have coffin. Endings bring new beginnings. There's nothing you can do. Uh, growth, change, liberation, and transition. So let this person, you know, just do what they got to do. We have the runner. Runner and a codependent relationship. Fear of intimacy, listening to ego, and healing heart. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Keep, basically what I'm trying to say is just keep living your life um, and don't put, put your life on hold for anybody. We have love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know with abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. Okay, we have the so sword and the rose at the bottom. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. Okay, very nice. We got a few more good cards to clarify. We have the Ace of Cups, the Hangman on their side. Okay, why is the Hangman here for their energy? Nine of Swords, Cruelty. The Hierophant, Two of Swords with Peace. With the blue rose here, blue white rose, that may be significant. We have the Hermit Virgo energy. Okay, why is the Ace of Cups here? It's almost like they're trying. Eventually, they're gonna realize that they're blowing, or they're they want to, or they're gonna realize that they're blowing life into this, either without even knowing, or they're going to do it knowingly, because they want to, not because they have a choice, or, you know, whatever the case. Um, they feel like they're running out of time. They're going to do this because it feels good and that's what they want to do, not because they have to. Okay, we have the star. Or that's what they feel like is right, the right thing they should do. No, that's not going to be the reasoning. We have nine of pentacles with game. We have three of pentacles with works and four of cups luxury. with the sun there you go if it's all it's all gonna i i just heard it's all meant to be it's gonna work out in a handbag but like from the cards perspective that's gonna lead you right into your happiness your true bliss okay it's gonna work out and how it's gonna work out or play out more or less in divine timing Okay, anything else we need to know? Let's 
so just I just wanted to say just wait for it but um that would kind of be like a you know um the opposite of what I was just saying put don't put your life on hold so new beginnings uh leap of faith Aries energy fool uh fool folly ignorance is bliss okay harmony it's like starting fresh a blank slate I just heard periodically. All right, let's get these picked up. There was a cool card on, it was the death card on horoscope.com. One of the tarot games, you pick the card, the love, the daily love tarot and the Egyptian love. I think it was the daily love tarot. And I wanna see if I have it in here because it will make perfect sense the analogy of what I was just trying to say love is like tiny little deaths um, like the aha moments like tiny little deaths I don't know let me see if I got it there's one death card that wasn't at the bottom This is the emperor, this is a good one. A hidden aspect of the past is revealed and something that lets you tear down a wall that keeps you boxed in. What old memory fogs the mind and your emotions today? Let it go because it is easy to do so now. The freedom turns into courageously liberated, wise and realistic energy. If single, it eases a focus on desired outcomes. That allows someone to feel free to express warmth without pressure and they will. That's the energy, okay. Let's see what else, if I can find that card. All right, I'll, I don't know if this is the one, but Death. You can create positive and revolutionary movement in your love relationships right now by stripping away any old and unnecessary patterns and habits that you may, that you think may have been holding you back. As you get closer to the essential you, you will feel more empowered and confident in moving forward in your relationships with others. And then this de um, death card says, your innate sense of timing has put you in the right place today. Your intuition tells you that or tells you when to act. In this light. Should you continue to delay a decision, decide, and a huge boulder pressed against your heart rolls away, it is time to forgive and release the offender. Or it is a time. Heal angers and resentments that have built over the years. Good timing is rare. Today is a golden moment. Okay, let's shuffle these up and see um, what wants to come out. We get the hangman, the magician, and the tower. We have the world. The high priestess and the fool. You have a chance now to start fresh in relationships and turn a new page. It may be a good time to take a trip or embark on a journey of some kind. As you shake up your normal routines and try new things, you will have an opportunity to be love and romance in a whole new light. Try to leave the past behind as you step into the future with an open heart. Hangman card in relation, relation to love and romance indicates that this is a time of some uncertainty and perhaps doubt in regards to the most important relationships in your life you can you have an opportunity 
to gain a deeper understanding of what you uh, most need to know about these relationships and develop an alternative perspective. Make the most of this time to retreat and gain awareness of yourself and others, which I feel you've already done. Um, the tower, we have the magician. Okay, so the, the fool energy was exactly where it was at, and that was the last card that I pulled too. So we'll leave it at that. All right, let's get these picked up. And that's why I said that I said in the very beginning of the reading, some of you guys may have to go on a journey or um, if it involves relocating or whatever you're being called or swayed to do in order to be with your person that feels best for you, feels right, brings you true happiness into your life. Only you will know that. It's almost like you'll have an opportunity for some of you guys to start over and do it, do something the right way this time around in love. Because now you have been there and you've done that, so you know what to do and what not to do. And that's your lesson right there. All right, let's pull some uh, masculine and feminine energies and we'll get some love, some love cards for you guys. We'll start with the love first. Obscurity with influences, attachments, third parties, and peers. We have secrets, mysteries, and concealing. And that's that moon energy right there. With the high priestess, something's going to be revealed, though. Because you're going to know what to do this time around. And it's going to feel right. And you're going to... I'm being drawn to this crystal. It's my rose quartz aura. It's going to shine through as bright as ever. The truth of a situation involving your person or what you should do, the next steps you should take into your future. And I feel like this moon is going to bring um, a lot of emo strong emotions to head for you. Divine masculine and healing, yeah. All right, what's coming in, please? We have karma. Consequences, cause and effect, and debts. We have abandoned. There's that Five of Pentacles first card that came out. Left out, walked away, and cold. We have depth, awareness, importance, and value. We have obscurity. Secrets, mysteries, concealing. We have releasing, letting go, moving on, walking away. With commitment. Marriage, promises, and fidelity. Fidelity. We have family, fertility, parenthood, and pregnancy. We have silence, frozen, no words, stone wall. We have intuition, heart song, tele te telepathy, and inner knowing. And we have perspective in reverse. Better off, happiness, clear head space. At the bottom, we have healing, P releasing, purifying, and cleansing. Very nice. Some of you guys could start a family when you get with your person or are with your person now and could be um, starting a family. We have imagination and order and organization. So what's coming in, please? We have sensitivity, 38 and 90, or 20, sorry, imagination. What's coming in for my collectives at this time? This is the masculine and feminine deck. So the black ones are the feminine. The white ones are the masculine. First card out, we have tolerance. Number 42. We have interior, 24. So what's going on beneath the surface? What's going on inside the home? Um, inside the four, you know, walls that only you can see? 
We have agitation, number three. We have responsibility, number 44. And we have the container, the container carry life, number five. So something about an egg. We have initi initiative, 23, authority, number seven. We have instinct, distraction, and inattention. So it's like blocking something out, but not knowing it's number nine. So that hermit energy, Virgo energy. We have courage here, 13. It may require you, death energy, to be brave and, and have courage to take this first initial leap. But it's ultimately going to bring in, look at the eggs right there on the front of the card. Um, this new way of life that you find maybe that you like more. We have the door opening up. We have a nice home. We have... Okay, authority, instinct, expansive, expansion, and openness. It's like letting your hair down, feeling um, feeling free, feeling good to be you. Um, you know, light and simple, maybe without makeup on or just lounging around the house in your PJs. All, I don't know, whatever that means to you. Letting your hair down, so to speak. Memory of senses, so something about your DNA, your genetics, your um, or just your DNA. We have energy and dynamism, dynamism, so maybe this is has to do with birthing that um, egg or either having a family, you know, like having a baby together or putting your ideas together um, or spiritually, mentally, emotionally, however that resonates for you. That's what I'm getting with that energy. We have sensitivity. We have determination. Concentration. Calm. Reluctancy, tenderness, and thoughtfulness. We have instability. Precipitation. It's like what's going on in the shadows or the, the parts that you can't see or the gray. You know, the black, white, or gray. More so the gray parts of yourself or the parts that um, you go left unsaid or unnoticed. That could be your flaws or it could be parts of the relationship that you're trying to, to numb out or blur out or yourself, I don't know, another person, your life, take it how it resonates. Anything else? Your thoughts. We have easiness. Okay, number 10. Yeah, learning to make your life more easier. We have submission and irresponsibility at the bottom with grace and mastery. All right. Let's see what your person wants to say to you. Or how you're feeling, collective. They're cross watchers. I do want to get um, one from the... What is this deck called? Metaphysical Cannabis Oracle. Twenty percent low battery. Okay. We have memory and we have glam. What's coming in, please, for my collective? How is their future gonna play out for them? We're going to do now to six months to a year. So we're going to do six months to a year out. I just heard Eurito or Uri show. I don't know what that means. We have the void, divine feminine. We have codes in nature with miracles, and we have hermetic with create. We have manifestier with creation. 
gratitude rampage. It's already happened with equalizer, highest self. The witch doctor at the bottom with wisdom. <laughs> What's going on here? We have Duro Ely with compassion. Lantakari Mace with peace. And we have Thrive Brady, Brady with tolerance. So something's going to put you in a position or opportunity to create this door or a moment in your life that's going to spark this change or you know like an opportunity for that door to open for your highest self and so you can maybe go through the door this time but with your person um because you're filling some type of void or having that realization you or your person um that this is what you want and this is who you want type energy we have compassion peace and tolerance we have a ton with seduction uh oh devil energy as above so below we have oran milla great divine i was hearing one of those weird names um in my head i'm like i don't know what that means i forgot what it was what i said but all right we have arziki De Baran with gratitude. And Santa, oh my god, I was gonna say that. It looks hey, it looks like Santa Morte. Santa Morte with offering. And we have Vry with freedom at the bottom. And Mami Wata with memory. Saraki. Saraki stability. An unconditional love blueprint. Remember the DNA genetics? The witch doctor, wisdom, and somebody, my booty, key. Your person's holding the key, or you are, or you both are. What else? We got Ifarada with healing. And Corita with solitude. Enchantment, celebration. And dance portal with let go. Very nice. We have bliss with trust at the bottom. So trust in this um, process, this, the process of this pathway or, you know, uh, opening up for you. Let's get a purposeful career for you guys. Okay, we have healing. Your finances are healing quickly. Continue to do what's best for you and we'll soon see great results. You have gained the energy that you need. We have assets. Your investments are growing fast. If you haven't tried investing yet, this is the right time. Your future promises long-term stability. We have determination. Consistency is the key to achieving your goals. Keep doing what works well for you. Don't quit when you're when you're tired. Quit when you're done. And then we have mainstream marketing and guidance. We have faith at the bottom. It's time to be seen and show your talent to the world. Your business is getting more of the audience at this moment. We have marketing. You are good. You are good at promotions. Apply different marketing strategies to grow your business and continue to innovate to attract more sales. We have guidance. Very nice. Your angels and spirit guides have your back. They are doing the work in the background to make way for your opportunities to come. Stay optimistic. Okay. At the bottom, we have faith. Very nice. The situation needs your full trust. There is a divine reason behind this experience. Your spirit guides are leading you in the right direction. With feelings under that. Oh, somebody loves you. It says I love you. You may be getting too emotional at the moment that you are losing control of your career and finances. Stand up and come back stronger. Okay, so we have faith. Something needs your full uh, trust, your full attention. There's a divine reason behind this experience. Your spirit guides are leading you in the right direction. Very nice. Okay. I feel pulled to one more, but I don't know what it is. Oh, the Rosa, Rosa Bell. Rosa Bell. Very nice duck. Okay, we have Taurus and Blessings. So let's see what's coming in for you guys at this time. 
Um, let's see what zodiac sign you're dealing with. Um, anything else? Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll see what good things are coming in for you. Um, what your blessings are. you're going to be gifted with from source from spirit from universe we have ooh, 32 we have maliciousness we have 30 with table we have 43 fame and we have four birth we have the woman's wish number three we have fire 37 fire energy and we have enemy 35 We have key number one. Okay, let's get one more card. We have intelligence number 20. With fate, some of you guys could be um, into esoterics yourself or into divination, a tarot reader, have a platform. We have Scorpio energy and we have number 40 with beauty. The bottom we have theft 21 with pisces capricorn and 44 chance 2244 may be prominent with the plan making a plan for richness 19 and lucky card here's your lucky card guys the trail and we have wisdom so that snake um was also around her neck in that other deck, the cannabis deck. So it almost is like someone's trying to take the life out of your life out of you. So be careful of that. And we have commerce twenty three again with the snake. Okay. So someone at your table could be malicious. Trying to dry, drown out your resources or, you know, not want to see good things come in for you. Let's get a clarifying love situation. Wishful thinking. Have left, having lofty ideas leads to a letdown. Be realistic. Faded revelation, uncover the omens, decipher their meaning, and embrace your destined path. Temporary relief, distractions aren't a, quite, or aren't a quick fix for deeper issues. We have hidden thorns. Look beyond the romance to discern true intentions with... Avoid burnout. Fury passion is consuming. Sustain a lasting balance. And it says fury balance. Embrace intense forces. Offset turmoil and stabilize with calm resolve. Okay, we have swept away. Caught up in the romance or clearing out of emotion. Clearing out emotions. Okay, last card. Chaotic clarity, a confusion and intense crisis. Seek the light of understanding and resolve. You're coming out of a whirlwind or something you've already went through the whirlwind. You went through this lone path. You went through something solo for a while. Solo refugee, yeah. Okay, that's what I have for you guys. Let me know if this helps. Sending love and light. Um, look for me for more videos. Um, and also, like I said, I offer personal readings. All my information, my cash out, Etsy, Venmo card and my email is all in my bio. Sending love and light. Take care. Peace.